Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So this is the third video in the long distance relationship series. Today I'm going to speak about how you actually stay happy in this long distance relationship journey. So you stay tuned. Alright fam, thanks so much for coming back. So if you have not seen my previous videos for a long distance relationship, they are definitely down in the description box below. And of course at some point they will be above my head. And so you can go ahead and click on the I after the video to check out those two videos or three videos, however many videos I have. Okay, so um, <laughs> I have several tips for you guys, of course, today. And um, the very first one is to set clear boundaries. Boundaries are really good. You need to set the clear boundaries so they're, so you're not taking on so much pressure or you're not giving your partner who has gone away so much pressure about the distance in your long distance relationship. So set clear boundaries. Number two, you can just pretend you're single. Now, that does not mean pretend you're single and be up in somebody else's bed. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is pretend you're single in the sense that you hang out with the people that you want to hang out with. You go to dinner with the people that you want to go to dinner with. Do the things that you want to do. You would love to do them with your partner, but your partner is not there. So do all of the things that you want to do. You get to go and come as you please because your boo is not there. So pretend that you're single in that sense. Have lots and lots of fun. Post updates if that's something that you do. Post your updates on your social media with you having fun, with you living your life, with you not being stuck in the house with the sad face because your partner is not there. Because literally you have to be a whole person in your relationship whether they are physically with you or not. You have to be a whole person, just like they have to be a whole person. Two whole people coming together in the relationship, not half and half. So pretend that you're single, do what you love to do. And even do some of the things that you know your partner didn't want to do, like that you wanted them to do with you, but now they're gone, you can still do them. And you can even do them with somebody else that wants to do them where you can have just as much fun or even a better time because they want to do it too. The third thing on how to stay happy in your long distance relationship is to make at least four attempts, especially if you've been um, long distance over a year, every three months or at the, at the maximum. <laughs> every three months y'all need to be seeing each other which is like four times a year it might be four times four times where you guys are in each other's company maybe just for a couple days maybe a week maybe two weeks but the maximum is every three months because again things are going to creep in you're going to be horny all the time and you want to be able to put some of that energy somewhere and you also don't want to open up the door because you guys have physical distance there. You don't want to have, um, open up the door for anybody else to creep in and come in on either end. And you need to con continuously keep the connection going. So make sure that no more than three months pass before y'all seeing each other again. The next thing, I'm putting it in here, I read it somewhere, which is to talk every few days. Um, I don't 100% agree with this, but I do agree with the reasoning. And the reasoning is because you're going to make the conversation that much more juicy and interesting and really just trying to always um, share your day with the person every single day is, is kind of unrealistic and it also puts the pressure on the person to make sure that they are available even if something very important is going on that they need to be available for you. So although I don't 100% agree with the every few days of talking, I do agree with the reasoning. Number five, I kind of already mentioned, which is do all of the things that you really want to do that you know that your partner does not enjoy. You might enjoy the opera. Your partner hates the opera. Go to an opera or two while they're not there. You might enjoy roller coasters. You might enjoy skating. You might enjoy skiing. So these are all of some, of, some of the things that you really, really enjoy doing. But you might have scaled back on doing them because your partner was not fond of them. 
now this is your opportunity to pick some more of those things back up and super, super, super bring the joy and happiness back into your life. For long distance relationships, this is something that I read as well, but I, I pretty much agree with it for the most part, which is for long distance relationships, you really want to be dating the person that you want a, a an actual physical relationship where they're right next to you and someone that you can potentially marry if that is your goal. Yeah, because it really doesn't make sense just to be dating long distance, these people that you don't see a future with. So I, I agree with this one. <laughs> I'm not going to be uh, basically holding off on sex or not doing some of the things or making sure that my schedules are matching up if I don't see anything happening with you. I'm not just going to do this with anybody. There has to be a potential of a future there, which makes sense. The more I say it out loud, it 100% makes sense. I'm not going to be doing all of this sacrificing and doing this and doing that and doing this and doing that, making sure of this, making sure of that, if you are just a fly-by-night person. Don't make no sense. <laughs> Number seven, do not underestimate really, really nice surprises and just small things such as love notes. Uh, we live in the world of technology and we're always on email or like I said, FaceTime or Skype or um, texting. But it really is nothing like getting a special surprise in the mail from your boo. Again, that includes simple sitting down, sitting down, writing a love note and not on a card. I mean, a card is good, but I'm just saying physically where you are handwriting on lined paper expressing your love or your thoughts or your poem or whatever it is to me that would be so so special and so sweet and it's also a a lost for, it's a lost art form i think because we are in a world of technology where everything is so instantaneous start using the snail mail again especially when you are long distance relationships especially then it makes it even more special, makes you feel special, and it also increases the connection because you're like, oh, they thought about me. Oh, man, this is great. And not only during the times that you guys are able to speak to each other, and especially not during the times that you're, you know, that you're going to visit them. Like, you're a gift enough. It's the in-between time in order to keep the spark alive, in order to keep the connection together. Those little things, the little surprises definitely make a difference. Number eight, know that if you go and visit or if they come and visit and y'all have a bad visit, that is, it doesn't mean that you guys are going to break up. Like people go through fights all the time <laughs> when they are in uh, the relationship where they are physically there with their partner. So if you guys, and, and I'm sorry, let me complete that thought and they don't break up. So it doesn't mean if you visit or if they visit and y'all have a bad visit, doesn't mean that you guys are going to break up. It just means that this one didn't go so well. And it's okay. You can do better next time. There's always going to be a next time. But because you guys have distance between you guys, you guys really need to find a way to make up that much faster. Because the distance only breeds that bad feeling or... Um, you know, I can do what I want to do feeling or, <laughs> you know, what they don't know won't hurt them feeling. So, so, so shorten the distance, especially when you guys need to be talking to one another again faster. Number nine, embrace that your relationship is a normal relationship. Don't let nobody else put in your mind that you in this, uh, you know, awkward or, uh, um, you know, this relationship that's not normal because it is. So many people are in long distance relationships and they actually work. It's working for them, you know, so don't think about your relationship as not being normal. Embrace it as a normal relationship. Number 10, place a time limit on your relationship's distance, like permanently. You need to have a time limit on it because if it's no time limit on it and it's basically like the unknown this is where things go downhill and the whole excitement of seeing the person goes downhill. And this is where your eyes start to wander and try to find somebody who's actually in your city. 
if you don't want that to happen, you need to have an end date in sight. And y'all both need to know it. It doesn't need to be in one person's head and you leaving the other person hanging because you're only setting yourself up for failure. Number 11, the last tip is to expect the unexpected. Research actually shows that this one, this one right here is the biggest reason why long distance relationships don't work because people are not planning for the unexpected. For example, this is your long distance relationship. This was your time frame that you had. And then another project comes up where that company needs to take your boo even further away from you for an even, for an, for an even longer time. There are things that are always going to happen in life, period, not just in long distance relationships, but in life, period, that are unexpected. How are you going to handle it? Think about these things. They are going to be very important in your relationship, period. This definitely how you are going to stay happy in a long distance relationship if you think about all of these things, especially the unexpected things, because things are going to occur. Now, if you like this video, of course, give me thumbs up, share it with the people that you know who need to hear this. And of course, if this is your very first time here, think about subscribing because here at I Love Me, 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 I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. And if that's all relationships, of course, long distance relationships. OK, so I will see you guys in a few days for another long distance relationship video. Two finger salute.